Third and last video, hopefully. Um, very big misconception that there's not much to do in Langkawi, which there actually is. There's a hell of a lot to do, to do in Langkawi. Um, from the waterfalls, which Seven Wells is a pretty good one. Tamara Waterfalls up in the north, I think it's Tamara. I'm not exactly sure if I'm pronouncing it correct. If I'm not, the correct pronunciation and spelling and location will be in the description of the videos. But Seven Wells Waterfall is definitely a good one. Um, in that same area, you have horse riding, you have the Sky Cab, the Sky Bridge. If you do go to the Sky Bridge, just be aware of the fact that it's an extra five ring at charge once you get up top if you want to go out of the bridge, just not on the platform. And then also sometimes the, low, the, the guys at the bottom make you wait for, after you've bought the ticket, they make you wait for like 30 minutes or 45 minutes because they want you to spend money at the bottom with the stalls and stuff. So be aware of it. It might be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but there's a local skinny on that. Um, let's see. One of the lookout, lookout points is called uh, Gunan Raya. You can get there by, um, by either scooter or car. Quite nice. You can see the whole of Langkawi. You don't have to pay for it like the, um, the sky cab. Again, Gunan Raya, I'll put it down at the the description below. Um, beaches, the nicest beaches on Mankawi are definitely the north. Pantajanang Beach is nice, but it's busy. Uh, it's, it's the most popular beach here. So if you go to the north end of the island, a place called Tanjan Ru is widely considered the, the nicest beach. The water is also a little clearer. Um, it's definitely worth the trip up there. Let me see. When it comes to tours to take, usually people, they, they torn between two, either the island hopping tour or the mangrove, mangrove tours. The majority of people that I've spoke to enjoy the mangrove tours more because a lot of the island hopping tours, they go to the same islands. So you have multiple tour operators going to the same islands. So you get there and there's like 200 people on the beach. Whereas the mangrove tours are a little bit more informative, a little bit more interesting, you see a little, a little more nature, eagles, snakes, that kind of stuff. Hmm. Buffalo Park. You can even milk a buffalo on Lankawi. There's a buffalo park and they make buffalo mozzarella cheese, which is pretty damn good. Um, you can go and milk the, the bu buffalo at 7 o'clock in the morning, if you want to wake up that early. But it's definitely something to go check out also. Um, I know it's under, it's being revamped. The old owners didn't do that well with it, so there's a new new owner and he's really keen on improving it. So I'd definitely go and um, support him if I could. Uh, rainforest treks on the north of the island, close to the the hotel called the Datai. There, it, the whole patch, it's it's a rainforest hotel. Um, that whole side of the island is virgin rainforest pretty much and there are a bunch of preset trails that you can walk into the into the jungle. There are also guided tours into the jungles at night which is really cool. So um, you have you have a decent choice of things to do. Um, along with that if you're a golf fanatic on the north end of the island there's a um, uh, it's called Else Island, Ernie Else, one of Ernie Else's designed golf courses. I'm mean, not, not a big golfer myself, but it's a very nice course, and I believe it's one of the top 50 or top 100 courses on the planet. So it's worth a look. Anything else, I'll make another video, and more descriptions will be below. Yeah.